I'm always looking for ways to save time in After Effects, and a great way to do that is with plugins. Today, I'll be showing you five free plugins that you can start using right now in After Effects to help you save time and produce even better work. What's up, everyone? This is Jordan Bertone of Sonduck Film, and with that being said, let's jump into this list of plugins. All right, so the first plugin we'll be talking about is Typominal from Dark Pulse Motion Design. This lets you take a string of text and automatically add an animation to it that makes it look like text appearing on a terminal. Here I have a big string of text, and to apply Typominal to it, I'm going to go to the Effects and Presets tab, open Animation Presets, then click and drag Typominal 1 onto my text. Now that it's applied, you can already see the text has a full terminal style animation, but you're able to customize it further in the Effect Controls panel. I'm going to increase the speed that the text is revealed, I'll leave the cursor on, set the cursor kerning to 10, and cursor scale to 100. Now we have this awesome terminal text animation with just a few simple steps. Our next plugin is Long Shadow from Creative Dojo. Here we have some white text on a white background, and to add our long shadow, we'll go to the Effects and Presets panel again, open Animation Presets, Long Shadow, then drag the Long Shadow preset onto our text layer. Now we have our shadow applied to the text, and we can start customizing it. In the Effect Controls panel, you can change the distance if you have a really large composition and need to extend it. You can change the angle of the shadow to match your light source, the opacity to make the shadow softer, and the color of the shadow as well. And once you're done, you have this great dynamic long shadow applied to any layer that you want. As an unofficial entry to our list, this would be a great time to mention our free After Effects and Premiere Pro Motion Duck extension which has nearly 100 templates. For absolutely free, you can use our preview extension to glance over templates on any project you're working on. Then apply and update these free templates to fit your project's needs. To get your free download, be sure to check the links in the description below. Next up is Thick Stroke from Plugin Everything. This is a simple tool that allows you to make unique stroke animations all from one single effect. Here I have a basic solid layer with a circular mask on it, and I'm going to go up to Effect, Plug in Everything, Thick Stroke to apply the effect onto it. Now you can see we already have an interesting looking stroke shape, but we can go into the Effect Controls panel to customize it even further. You can choose which mask you want the stroke to apply to, then you can change the start and end width of the stroke. You can have a rounded or butt cap for the stroke, and fully customize the colors and gradient. Once your stroke looks the way you want, you can open the Trim Paths tab to animate it. You can set keyframes for the start and end of the stroke, and offset the stroke as well. Now you can easily make unique stroke animations all from one single effect. Next on the list is Quick Chromatic Aberration from Plugin Everything. As the name suggests, this is a simple tool to quickly add a chromatic aberration effect to your layers in After Effects. This plugin is super easy to use, just highlight your layer, Go up to Effect, plug in everything, quick chromatic aberration, then in the Effect Controls panel, I'll disable repeat edge pixels because this is not recommended for text layers. Now you can adjust the position, rotation, and scale of the chromatic aberration to achieve your desired results. You can then keyframe these parameters or use expression controls to create an animated chromatic aberration effect. Once you're done, you'll end up with a really nice looking effect like this. Last up, we have Limber Light, a plugin that lets you add dynamic limbs to your characters in After Effects to create automated limb animations. Here, I have a very basic character in front of a crank that's animated to rotate in a circle. I want to create a limb for this character so that it looks like he's the one rotating this crank. I'll open the plugin by going to Window, Limber Light, then in the panel I'll click New Bone, I'll name it to Arm, and click OK. To attach our limb to the correct objects, I'll select arm end, which represents the character's hand, I'll move it to be right on top of the crank's handle like this, then I'll take arm start, and I'll move it onto the body of the character where their arm would be. Now I just need to highlight arm end, parent it to the handle layer, then highlight arm start, and parent it to the body layer. And when I scrub through, you can see the arm is attached to the crank and dynamically animates with it. But the limb is too short, so now we can start customizing it. I'll move on the timeline to where you see the arm starting to bend, then highlight arm end, open shape, and increase the upper length and lower length until the arm is long enough so that it doesn't get stretched anymore. Lastly, I don't want this rigid edge here, so I'll increase the bone curvature a bit to make the arm look more natural. 
And now I have this basic character animation with a dynamic moving limb using this plugin. To close out our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 12,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro within the Motion Duck extension. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all of the template packs we have and don't forget to download your free packs as well. We're at the end of the video, so be sure to subscribe for more post-production tutorials and remember, always be creating.